In this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, center of gravity and stability, okay, how they are related. Okay, so this is the learner's outcome. So these are some of prior knowledge. For these people, they are able to balance, okay, do, do seemingly uh, amazing balancing act. But of course, for us, we would be interested to know where is the center of gravity of our body and how does knowing its position help us to balance. Uh, it is because the center of gravity would actually determine the where is the weight and with the weight, okay, we need to counter the weight so that we can actually balance. For center of gravity of position, generally is about near the uh, stomach here, okay, so and also near the stomach here. Why is that we know the center of gravity is in this position? Why do actually objects remain balanced? We use objects to help us to understand. Object would be in balance as long as their center of gravity remains in line with their base of support. So in other words, if your center of gravity is above or below your base of support, you will not rotate or topple over. Why is that so? It is because the support base will provide the normal force that will directly oppose your weight without creating any turning moments. So you find that if your object that is lying on the table there, this is center of gravity, the normal force will be actually acting up so that you will not create any turning moment and you will oppose the weight so that you would actually would not rotate. But what if your center of gravity is shifted out of the base of support? It means that if we shift this object out, so even though it's partially supported by the base uh, over here, but you find that the center of gravity, the weight is not you know, acting over here out of the support. And this will actually, the edge of the support will actually act as a pivot and you find that this would start to rotate and fall. The general conclusion is that as long as the center of gravity is outside the base of support, the object will topple. Okay, this is the same as if the object is inside the base of support, the object would not topple. For an object, if we tip or rotate too large an angle, the center of gravity will also move its beyond its base of support, even though so right now the ground is over here, okay, um, you find that if we sort of like tip this over, and tip this by a very large angle, what will happen is that the weight would actually uh, go out the base of support. So originally the base is over here, so find that it would actually tip over and it will fall over the side because the weight of the object will create a turning moment to topple it. So it will end up to be like this. However, if the object is only tipped at a small angle, uh, the center of gravity will not move beyond the space of support. Okay, what do I mean by this? So if we only tip by a small angle, okay, the weight will still remain uh, in line with the base of support. So if you have this pivot over here, so what will happen is that you will fall back because the weight of the object will create a turning effect to rotate it back to its original state and it will not topple over. So it will fall back. So this is a summary. So if you tip by a small angle, the object is considered to be stable and you will fall back. If you tip too large an angle, the object will go beyond the the, seat, the weight of the object will go beyond its initial base of support that's over here, and it will topple over okay fall. And there will be a, of course there will be a certain point where the angle is just nice, where the center of gravity, the CG, is right above the point of support and it will remain in balance. Okay, stability of an object we refers to how difficult to topple an object and what do you mean by difficult? Okay, we can actually have a measure to say that the greater the ang angle of tipping, the greater the stability. So if you compare these two objects, okay, you find that if we tip this object over like this, okay, what will happen is that this particular angle is considered to be larger than this particular angle. So you can see that this object if we label this as A and B, object B is less stable as compared to object A because object A, we need to tip a larger angle before it will topple, while object B, we just only tip a small angle and it will topple. So we know from experience that actually tall and thin objects are less generally less stable than short and thick objects. It means that tall and thin objects are easier to tip over and topple than short and thick objects as they have a smaller angle of tipping as illustrated by the previous picture. So how can we explain that? We can use the position of the center of gravity object when we tip the objects to help us to understand uh, why is this so. 
right now is thin objects versus thick objects. Assuming that the objects are uniform, so center of gravity is uh, uni is right at the center. And in this case, both have the same height, but object B has a broader base than object A. So this is A and this is B. So if we compare the base, this is much wider. Okay, so we took that at the same angle of 30 degrees and see what will happen. So we find that uh, in this case, the center of gravity has moved beyond its base and is over here. And But for object B, which has a wider base, you find that even though you are tilted at the same angle of 30 degrees, the center of gravity is still remain at the base of support. So as shown, object A would topple and object B would go back to its original position. So in this case, object B is considered to be uh, stable, while object A is not stable. In conclusion, having a broader base, okay, you find that the thinner object is topple more easily than object B, even though they have the same height, because object B has a broader base than object A. So we can conclude that having a broader base of support makes it more difficult for object to topple over. It has required a larger angle of tipping before you would fall. Object stability can be increased by increasing its base area. So intuitively, we know that taller will actually is easier to topple than shorter objects. Again, we assume that objects are uniform. This time around, they have both the same base, but they have different heights, and object B is shorter than object A. So we again, we tilt them at the same angle. Of course, right now you notice that the same conclusion, object A will topple, but object B would not topple. This, actually, this picture actually shows you that tall objects is easier to topple than the shorter object even though they have the same base. It's because again, this time around, the object B has a lower center of gravity than the object A. So this will conclude that having a lower center of gravity makes it more difficult for objects to be toppled over. So again, we, if we want to increase the stability of the object, we can lower its center of gravity. What about similar shaped objects? This time around, we compare two similar objects uh, similar shape objects which are same base, same height, and the same weight. But right now, uh, we do some change. Okay, object A is a uniform weight. That means that the weight is equally distributed. So object A's center of gravity is right in the center. But for object B, we make it that so it is heavier at the bottom and lighter on top. So from previous lesson, we know that center of gravity tend to gather at the to be near where the most of the weight is. So in this case, the object B center of gravity would be close at the bottom. So even though it is the same shape, same base, same size, okay, and same weight, but the weight distri distribution of object B is different. It is the center of gravity is closer at the bottom. Let's see what happens again when they are tilted at the same angle. Okay, this time around we tilt more. So we find that even though they have the same shape and size and uh, the only difference is that weight distribution is different. You find that object B would not topple, but object A would topple. So this is actually to conclude that if we have a lower center of gravity, it makes it more difficult for the object to topple, and it's the position of center of gravity that actually affects the stability of the object. So, but note that we are not increasing the weight of the object, we are actually just only changing the weight distribution of the object. Does the weight of the object actually also determines its stability? Um, generally, the heavier the weight, you, of course, you will need more force to tip the objects. So if uh, this is yellow, this represents a lightweight object. So you maybe you need a small force to tip the object over, but you need a large force to tip the object of B over, or this heavier object. But however, the center of gravity is still the same position, okay? If we increase the weight of the object uniformly, it doesn't change the center of gravity. So what it means is that um, it doesn't change the tipping angle of the object. Okay, so if you increase the weight, if the initially when you tip at a certain angle, um, it falls over, but increasing the weight, it actually doesn't change the fact that the it will still topple over. So in a certain sense, it, uh, changing the weight of the object actually doesn't improve its stability. Uh, it only makes it more difficult or in this case, more force to tip the object over. 
uh, designs of fast cars are usually uh, low and flat. Okay, like this F1 car over here. The purpose is to improve the stability of the car. Another example, you find that for a double-decker bus, there's usually a rule that there's no standing on the top of deck of the double-decker bus. Okay, so can you explain why is that so? Okay, that you cannot have a lot of people standing over uh, on top of it. So I leave it you to think about it. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.